everybody. Welcome to another episode at the Sports Pod. Today we're going to talk more about running, okay? So, what we want to talk about is foot position. So, well, let's go down to my awesome kicks right over here. All right, so what we're going to talk about is how our foot lands on the floor. Foot contact. It's really important. The number one fault that I see is a heel contact. Now, we don't want to have a heel contact, and this is what a heel contact looks like when we run. All that force is coming from the ground all the way into your heel, into your knee, and into your hip. This is not what we want. The second foot fault is midfoot. All right, so what ends up happening is they end up running really flat footed. Now, these people are, these athletes are really easy to find because you can hear them coming a mile away. They tend to be very stompy when they run. The way that we actually want to run is we want to get right into our ball of our foot and especially on our big toe. This is where we actually want to land in this region of our foot. This allows us to naturally um, get onto the ground and push off easily. Now, how, do we, how does that look? It looks like this. Now, that doesn't mean that we're landing on our toe. We're actually landing on the ball of our foot. Now, when I actually do this, I, I keep my foot in a nice neutral position. So I'm not actually actively dorsiflexing, nor am I actively plantar flexing like this. I'm just keeping my foot in a very lazy neutral position. And when I do that, I naturally fall on the ball of my foot. Now let's talk about the rotation of our foot. So we can have medial rotation of our foot and lateral rotation of our foot. So medial rotation is this. When we run like this, you'll see athletes run like this and they'll actually fall probably on the pinky toe or on the ball of their pinky toe. Well this is a really bad position, especially for my soccer players. Because when they run like this, what ends up happening is everything kind of goes this way. When we do this, this puts you in a better position to either A, break your ankle, or B, really strain or sprain it. This also causes problems on the outside of your knee, so your lateral collateral ligament, and also your IT band into your hip. So this is just bad kinematics. The other kinematic is lateral rotation when we do this. When we do lateral rotation, what ends up happening is everything ends up wanting to fail on the inside. When we want to fail on the inside like this, this creates torsion in the knee, torsion in the ankle. What this actually is a terrible position for is NCL tears and ACL tears. When I see girls run in this position like this with this torsion, that is a red flag for me because it creates a lot of strain into the ACL and it's most likely a prerequisite for ACL tear. So, we want to get into a more neutral position. So when we run, we want to be in a neutral position. Our knee wants to be on the little bit on the outside of our first ray, which is our big toe. You notice that when I run in a neutral position, I don't allow my knee to come in. My knee comes out a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. We want to be on the outside of our big toe always. And again, we want to make sure that our foot is in a neutral position. When we march like this, you see that I naturally fall onto the, this side of my foot and my knee comes a little bit on the outside. All right, that is my video on foot position. Hopefully that helped. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a, a call or contact us on social media and move free humans.